YouTube. How you guys doing today? It's Mike, Pratt Family Homestead. I want to talk to you guys today about the 2017 pig plan. Um, for starters, this is where it's going to be. Hey, it's really windy outside today. I got my gloves in this weird configuration around my phone recording this right now, so hopefully the wind's being blocked out and not muffling me. But we're going to do an L here. This is last year's old garden, if you remember. Uh, the pigs were in the pasture over there. So the pigs this year are going to be in the garden, the old garden. And then it's going to L. It's going to kick off uh, over towards uh, into the pasture where they were eating last year, uh, but only a small fraction of that because we need to harvest the rest of this for hay we learned last year. So the outside of the L, this side facing the house, the house is back that way, is eight hog panels, so 128 foot long. And then generally speaking, the rest of it is going to be electric. But this is the side the kids will come up to all the time. The side will feed them. The top of the L right here will be two hog panels wide. Uh, so that'll be uh, 32 foot. The area under the trees over there uh, will be, and that, that, that's that L part kicking off that way. I'm thinking, uh, I forgot what I measured it. That's going to be about, uh, I think it's 60, 70 foot wide coming back this way. The perimeter of the L, like I said, is 128 by about 140. And then that leg is, uh, I think, 70 foot wide. And this one's 32 foot wide. So that should be plenty of room for 10 pigs. But So we're doing 10 pigs. Um, you know, the first year we did it, we, we had pigs in like a shed. And they could come out and roam. Made a pretty decent area. Um, and then last year we did the four pigs on pasture, which to a degree overall was a success. You can go see that. Um, uh, I think I got a pig's playlist I'll put up here. Uh, and that was all, So now we're going to try 10 pigs. I've already got, I mean, people at work are knocking down my door to raise them pigs. And so we're going to do it outside, you know, on pasture. Uh, but they are going to be having their commercial feed uh, from the local feed mill here. In fact, uh, yeah, we'll get it from the local feed mill here. But we're also going to grow this area as a pig garden. So we'll be tossing them lots of stuff. And this is just a different way of doing pigs that we want to try as well. All right, so I got to start getting all these hog panels uh, strung up. I got most of the staking done down the row. Uh, and I've got the electric fence moved. If you remember, I did not get any of that done on that week off that I had, if you remember. But um, uh, so the plan for this year uh, was to do 10 pigs. And I was going to get, you know, three to five different breeds of pigs. And then at the end of the end of the the growing season when after the pigs got butchered the basically the co-workers and family members that i'm selling uh the pigs to uh for butcher i was going to do a pork chop swap with them uh you know i give them a couple pork chops from the pigs that we kept uh they give me a couple pork chops from the pigs that they kept and do a sampling and maybe next year really get settled on i don't know just get settled on a kind of pork uh and, and start maybe looking at raising our own and, and going that route Without, I'll tell you what, the raising your own, having a born sow seems to uh, take a lot of frustration out of it. I've got a line on two pigs right now that I'm getting for sure uh, from another YouTube channel down in um, Ohio. Uh, I will I will talk about that in a little bit more. But the the pigs that I, uh, the, some other breeds that I wanted, I've, I've been in contact with a couple um, uh, breeders and... Um, the one breeder I was in contact here, uh, I really wanted the red wattles. I wanted a couple red wattles. They were out of them. Uh, I've been talking with another breeder that I can't get any specific answers on. I would love to find a breeder that I could go put down a two, three hundred dollar deposit for X amount of pigs. And uh, well, maybe not two, three hundred. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go put a deposit down on pigs. Be locked in. Peace of mind. But I just can't get any solid answers right now one breeder that i'm working with um uh i think i miscommunicated to him is probably what happened but um i thought we were talking about uh possibly as as, as uh, feeder pigs uh getting a couple different breeds from him and a couple different mixes and i thought that was going to be a one-stop shop but i don't know i can't get anything locked in over there and it's becoming frustrated so i'm hunting I mean, I may end up getting, uh, you know, whatever I can find, which is not bad either. I mean, 
pork is pork so uh, that's not true pork is not pork but raising pigs is raising pigs and I know even from our first year where we basically just went out and got two pigs uh, we ended up very very happy with that uh, we ended up happy last year so finding pigs is becoming frustrating for me uh, I want I would love to have five different breeds two pigs each breed um, uh, and so we'll see how that happens. We'll see what I end up with. I may end up with just your generic pig, raising it and selling it to my buddies, which is also a goal of mine to do 10 pigs. Can I do that? So that's a goal also. But I really also wanted to incorporate the different kinds of pigs and try to get a sampling of them all. Like the two pigs that we did last year, I think we have already noticed that we kept for the pig and a half. I think we noticed a huge difference in those two pigs. Um, but it could have been the processing and it could have been how each butcher handled it. So, Okay, so the two pigs that I do have a definite line on, and um, I believe they are 100% mine, is a YouTube channel down in Ohio. Uh, Grizzly, I hope I'm going to say this right. Grizzly, Groundswell, Chad T. Everson. Uh, obviously, I'll put a link here. In fact, let's cut in some video, show you some of these piglets. This is a video that he posted just the other day. Is Rosemary our mom? Look at the muddy mess. We've had rain the last few days. And the pigs are liking it. Uh, we're gonna take two of these piglets. My understanding is these may take a hair longer to grow out. Uh, maybe, but uh, we'll see. These are the old spots mixed with um, uh, I'm pretty sure mixed with a little bit of Berkshire. So, uh, he says the meat is fantastic. And, uh, when I started searching for pigs and I saw that he had some, that he had piglets, I said, I hit him up and said, hey man, how about if I come down and get a couple of them piglets? And he, uh, <laughs> he reminded me it was a really far drive, but I told him, I said, man, I, I gotta have some of these piglets. These pigs are freaking awesome. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's the old spots. I'm not even going to try and say the Gloucester blah. I'm not going to try and say that, but I just kind of did. But anyways, uh, so these are the two that we have set, which is really awesome. I'm excited about getting these pigs. They are, I kind of should say, unfortunately, extremely cute. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll probably be, go down there in a month or so and get them and bring some video footage of that. All right, so I'm making some progress today. Uh, getting quite a few panels up. Uh, this area, I'm gonna do something here. I don't know, with this section right here. A gate or something to easily get a trailer in and out, uh, but I gotta think of some ways to do that. I just have D-rings on this panel right now, and they're very flimsy D-rings. These aren't the D-rings I'll be going with, or if I do even do D-rings. But I want to be able to take this off and access it if I have to, put a trailer in here, whatever. Uh, so from there to, I can't really see, there's a post right over there. Uh, it's gonna be electric, and then it's gonna kick off from that post and go down the line there where you can see. But we're gonna put the pigs all in here. This area stays so wet, they are gonna have a ball right in here, as well as over there. So, uh, hopefully they end up liking it. I can't, I think I probably will maybe go ahead and divide this in two. I know it won't be 10 pigs. I know I can't really do a rotation thing, but uh, as far as grazing and stuff, but maybe, maybe I can put them over here for a couple weeks and let that all settle back down and then put them over here. I'm thinking this area here will all be access for them 100% of the time. I'm thinking of put in, putting their little uh, shelter right here, kind of almost in the middle, and then come down here and waddle, or uh, play in the mud. And they can um, probably feed and water them up there. 
possibly. I, what I really would love, and I'm probably gonna do, like I said, is run PVC down here and maybe have water on all the time or water whenever I need to fill something. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do that yet, but we're gonna do the, we're gonna try the, the watering nipples again this year and I gotta get them trained to those first thing, no questions asked. We didn't have much luck with that last year. The, our first year we had no problem with it and then last year they just wouldn't take it. Oh well, so that's what this is looking like. Um, I think it's gonna be good. I think there's gonna be 10 happy pigs in here. This is a big area. This is 128 foot, 140 foot, roughly, uh, it's four hog panels. Four times 16, four carry the two. 64 foot is what that is. And this one is uh, 32 foot, so. All right, so that's the plan. That is the plan. We'll see what happens. All right, so some of the pigs that we've talked about getting would be uh, the Magnalistas, is that how you say it? Um, I've checked one source for that. Uh, he's not selling piglets this year. That's the, the guy up north, uh, is it <sighs> Baker's Green Acres? Ooh, hope I got that channel right. Go check out his channel. Uh, he doesn't have any available this year. Um, I'm checking a couple other places. Like I said, the red wattles, we have somebody around here that um, does or has done red wattles in the past. I've emailed them and not heard back. Uh, some other uh, some other breeds, uh, Berkshire, Hampshire, wouldn't mind trying. Now our first year, hey Jenny, yeah. while she's back there picking the horse, you see her. Um, our first year we had, the, they were Burkhamp mix, right? Yep. And we were happy with that. Uh, we had absolutely, I mean, if I had to settle on something, I think, I think we would settle on that, wouldn't we? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, we were really happy with that. I just want to explain or explore what's out there. So uh, we were really happy with uh, the one that we are pretty sure was a Hereford this year, or at least partial Hereford. Yep. Um, we didn't get as much bacon, but uh, the hams were a lot bigger than what we were used to. Uh, and the meat seems fantastic, right, babe? <laughs> it does. It's nice and, I, I guess I would use the words like, Tender. Yeah. Um, even oh. for being six months, you know, which is like when you grow all, all the other pigs, um, it was tender. It's juicy. It's it's not you know that dried out. You don't want that. You don't want dried out yeah. pork chops. Our other the other pig that we took in was pretty dry, but it's different butcher and stuff. So we got we got some figuring to do there. But uh, so I, if I found a purebred Hereford, I might actually go for that as well. Um, so I'm I'm looking. Um, I'm looking for any breeds. If you know of any in Southern Michigan that uh, we don't have to drive hours and hours for, I am talking to the one place here and they're, they're, they're a haul here in Michigan. They're probably four hours, I think Jenny and I figured, didn't we Jenny? Uh, three. three, three hours, something like that, which is fine, but you know, no definite answers coming out of that camp yet either. So I would like to have pigs within a month, piglets within a month and uh, specific breeds. And for the purpose of, like I said, taste testing, um, I know there's tons of them out there, tons. Of, and I'm also really starting to lean towards this American guinea hog. I, I think, I know those take longer to grow and stuff, I believe. Um, they're a smaller pig, but if we could have a, a herd, is it a herd? Is it a pig herd? I don't know. If we could have a, a bunch of them and, and uh, you know, kind of just slaughter when needed, that would be kind of interesting. Dan over at the Grass-Fed Homestead's been, well, he hasn't been directly talking to me, convincing me, but I've been watching a lot of his videos, so go check them out. And uh, uh, him and others, the videos that I'm watching are really starting to convince me that it's a good breed to go with. So um, I wouldn't mind finding a couple of those either. I mean, if I had to hold on to them long, a little longer, grow them out a little longer, whatever. Uh, I'm open. I am open to anything as long as I can have them in about a month or month and a half at the latest, probably. So we'll see what I can find, I guess. And they're off. Jenny has the lead by a good nose. Right. That's, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's right, CJ. You tell her. <laughs> 